Hi, hi guys. Welcome, welcome back to Anne's Krieger Me Food Kitchen. Do you want to know how this delicious vegetable sauce was prepared? Known as a Dika Enko, mm -hmm. Then, keep watching as I show you the magic ingredients. Come on, let's go. So guys, today I am going for two vegetables, which is uh, spinach, savoy garbage. Guys, savoy garbage is something I easily lay my hands on over here, mostly in winter. Uh, so if you live in NI, you can actually go for any other vegetable and also it is rich in vitamin C, in magnesium, calcium and so many other health benefits. It's wonderful. It tastes so good in your vegetable sauce, so you have to give it a try. And uh, further, I have my protein, which is a uh, a beef I am going for beef today you can go for any other protein of your choice uh, I have my cow skin my stock fish and then a smoked uh, uh, catfish uh, also I have oil here uh, bouillon powder I don't know why it's so much bouillon powder I didn't use everything anyway so to taste uh, also uh, grounded crayfish periwinkle uh, I also go for just one scotch bernard pepper because my family we don't like that much pepper so that's why I'm using one uh, uh, red bell pepper also I love the taste of red bell pepper and two onion um, and then I have to start with boiling up as in cooking the meat uh, and then add my stock fish to it and uh, now I'm going to season with uh, some, some bouillon powder, not everything, just a little bit of it will be fine, and then salt to, salt to taste. I'm adding one chopped onion to this, guys, and, uh, and then leave it to steam for about five to seven minutes on a low heat. Uh, right now I'm not going to add any water, we'll come back to hot water later to continue cooking. So let's get the main work done. Uh, I love to wash my vegetables before cutting it because in this way it will save me uh, some vitamins and also get rid of the sand easily. So. Guys, I am only going to use the green part of this vegetable, the other one I will leave them for a later use. And then give this a thorough wash, like I did this process for up to three times and make sure the water is clean. Uh, as you can see, I am running my fingers through those leaves to make sure there is no sand left aside. Yeah, the vegetable, the, the greens feel somehow as you feel the, the texture is so good it's been seven minutes i'm adding a small amount of water to continue cooking for 15 minutes uh, while i separate my leaf from from the stock because guys you don't want to have anything strong or funny in your vegetable sauce so do not skip that process and then i will have to cut this vegetable and yeah like i love this outcome it was it was crunchy and the good part of it is that the grain does not easily change it, it looks so good so i'm loving it somehow um, next i will go ahead and cut the spinach also and then i will i will I'm going to add some water, some cooked water to the spinach to rest for up to uh, two to three minutes uh, and then strain the water out, press, uh, press out any excess uh, water in the spinach. I tell you, 
uh, this process is good when it comes to spinach uh, because you wouldn't have to have too much as an excess water in the sauce. Uh, it's time for me to add the cow skin. Look in here, we have enough water to cook this cow skin along with it. Uh, and then cover again for about two to three minutes uh, while I, I, I come back, uh, while I debone the dry catfish. Uh, the, the fish was a little bit strong. Try to make sure there is no bone left aside and then wash this and add it to your meat to, to, to also cook for up to 3 minutes more and then I'm going to grind the half of the red bell pepper, one onion, Scotch, one scotch bernoit pepper, the rest half of the red bell pepper, I'm going to slice it for a later use and then blend this uh, mixture together. Uh, it's been three minutes now, uh, the, the cow skin looks good, they are not that strong anyway, it's just, uh, see we have a little amount of water in. I'm going to add my periwinkle to it and then the blended pepper uh, I, I'm using the I did I use this uh, red bell pepper because of the flavor and because I didn't want to use too much uh, scotch bonnet pepper so this also gave it a, a, a good amount of flavor and that uh, fine uh, color and now I am going to add uh, the grounded crayfish and then add my red oil. Uh, you can add as much as you feel is enough for your sauce. Uh, this is fine for me. Give this a stir and see the wonder going on in here. It's amazing. Everywhere smells so good. So always feel free to test your meal to see if some, some seasoning is still needed. I added some bouillon powder, a small amount of salt, and then I also added a little amount of red oil to this. Uh, seal and cover it up for about two minutes. Come back, see what is happening in here. We have enough water in and uh, it looks so good like it's smelling good it's time to add my my garbage i am doing this stuff first because it's it's harder a little bit harder than the spinach of course and uh, stir this and let it cook a little bit just for about two to three minutes or so three minutes now actually I am going to add my spinach to this oh, it looks so good see how green it is I told you and then add some sliced uh, red bell pepper this is just to give it a beautiful uh, color and then some fresh Taste. Cover this for two minutes. Come back and see the wonder of spinach. It has produced enough water as needed. I told you not to have too much water at the beginning because at the end you will have enough water to go for it. This tasted so good, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is the end of this video. Uh, you can serve this with any kind of swallow. Uh, I hope you have fun trying this out. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like and comment. And see you in my next video. Bye for now. Thank you.